Cinderella Cinderella's Happy Childhood In a cozy village, young Cinderella lived in a cheerful house surrounded by blooming gardens. Her days were filled with laughter and love, playing with her father, who told her wonderful stories and taught her to dance in the sunshine. The Arrival of the Step Family One sunny morning, Cinderella's father introduced her to a lady and her two daughters, who would soon become part of their family. The house buzzed with new voices, and Cinderella tried to make friends with her new sisters, who were very different from her. Cinderella's New Life Tragedy struck when Cinderella's father suddenly became ill and passed away. The house grew quiet, and Cinderella's stepmother assigned her chores. Cinderella, missing her father deeply, found solace in tending to the garden he loved. The Kind Animals In the garden, Cinderella befriended birds, mice, and even a friendly cat. They kept her company as she worked, chirping, squeaking, and purring. She shared her lunch with them and told them stories, feeling less lonely. The Royal Announcement One day, a royal messenger arrived, announcing a grand ball at the palace. The whole village buzzed with excitement. Cinderella's stepsisters began preparing their finest gowns, dreaming of dancing at the ball. Cinderella's Wish As Cinderella watched her stepsisters prepare, she longed to go to the ball too. She imagined twirling in a beautiful dress in a grand hall, the music swirling around her as she danced. The Fairy Godmother Appears On the night of the ball, Cinderella sat in the garden, feeling sad. Suddenly, a warm glow appeared, and an old, kindly woman stood before her, claiming to be her fairy godmother, there to make her wish come true. The Magical Transformation With a wave of her wand, the fairy godmother transformed Cinderella's rags into a stunning gown. Glass slippers appeared on her feet, and a pumpkin turned into a splendid carriage. Cinderella's hair was styled beautifully, and she sparkled under the moonlight. The Grand Ball Cinderella arrived at the palace, awestruck by its grandeur. The ballroom was magnificent, filled with people in splendid attire. When she entered, the room fell silent, everyone admiring the mysterious, beautiful girl. The clock strikes midnight. Cinderella danced with the prince, feeling like she was in a dream. But as the clock began to strike midnight, she remembered the fairy godmother's warning and hurriedly left the palace, afraid her magical dress would vanish. The Lost Glass Slipper In her rush, Cinderella lost one of her glass slippers on the palace steps. She reached her carriage just in time, watching as it turned back into a pumpkin. With a heavy heart, she walked back home, holding on to the memories of the magical night. The Prince's Search The prince, who had been captivated by Cinderella, found the glass slipper and decided to search for the mysterious girl. He traveled through the village, asking every young woman to try on the slipper. The Stepsisters Try Cinderella's stepsisters eagerly tried the slipper, but it was too small for them. They pushed and pulled, but the slipper wouldn't fit. Disappointed, they wondered who the mysterious girl could be. Cinderella's Turn When the prince arrived at Cinderella's house, she shyly asked if she could try the slipper. It slid onto her foot perfectly. The prince recognized her smile and knew he had found the girl he had danced with. A Happy Reunion The prince and Cinderella rejoiced at finding each other. Cinderella's stepfamily was amazed to learn that the mysterious beauty at the ball was Cinderella. The prince invited her to return to the palace, promising a life filled with love and happiness. A Joyful Celebration Cinderella married the prince in a grand celebration. The kingdom rejoiced at the union, and Cinderella invited her stepfamily to the palace, choosing to forgive and start anew.
Together, Cinderella and the prince lived a life full of joy and kindness, sharing their happiness with all around them. Zuzu Stories. Like and subscribe.